second day of Vlogmas. Today is my moving day and I do not feel good at all. I think that my body is just really like stressed and overwhelmed. My head does not feel good. So I think I'm gonna try and take a warm shower and eat something and maybe take something, which I don't really like wanna do because yesterday I took something as well. But if I don't, I really don't see myself getting through today. And if tomorrow I wake up with like a headache, then at least I'm relaxed <laughs> in a place and I don't have to do too much if I don't want to. So, um, yeah, really sucks to not be feeling great on a day that I'm supposed to move. But, um, my mom, it's her birthday today and it kind of sucks that I like won't be able to spend it with her, but like she's at work anyway, so it's not like that big of a deal. I'm sure I'll like celebrate with her again. Um, but yeah, that's on the agenda today. I just hate that I'm not feeling good. Like, really, really hate that I don't feel good because I need to feel good and there's so many boxes and so many things to take and yeah. <laughs> um, I'll check in with you guys a little later. I'm really sorry that I can't be like super high energy right now, but this is like the reality, right? So I'll see you guys in a little bit. My cousin's gonna be here at like 10.30. So I'm not gonna like overdo it in any capacity, at least for the next little while. So, but I do feel better after showering. So forgive me if this vlog is kind of short-ish or not as full of stuff as I want, because I'm just like not mentally able to do what I wanted to do. But with that being said, it's happening in like a couple of hours and I feel obviously very excited, but at the same time, like, nervous. Um, as I was saying to Gil yesterday, I was like, you know, part of me is just like scared that I'm gonna like fail or not be able to like, you know, do it or it's hard to explain. Maybe I'll make like more of a dedicated video um, explaining what I'm feeling <laughs> or what I f feel about it and my fears, but I'm gonna go downstairs and have some breakfast before my cousin gets here with the truck. Okay, we're moving. I'm exhausted. Oh my god. I'm sweating. We're all sweating. <laughs> but the space is looking so empty. That's really happening. I don't even want to show you my floor. And just like that, I'm ready to go. <laughs> it's empty. I mean, there's still some stuff everywhere, but <laughs> for the most part, it's uh, empty. I think I'm realizing how much stuff I have because this is a lot. Oh my God. Putting my plates away. It's adorable, they're so cute. I love them. them in places and I'm not sure where I'm gonna put everything else but like my mug collection is collecting my plates are out I know I have more plates somewhere I have all that out and then I'm gonna put my candles down here for now because I don't have anywhere else to put them but it's like official and I'm like hanging out in the room a little bit on my own for now and it feels really nice oh no we definitely need we're definitely gonna need this during the day there's 
it's sunny out, but we're not getting a lot of light in this area, unfortunately. That's gonna suck. So that's gonna need to stay on during the day. And then I wanted to start putting up like some stuff here, but I don't know what I have. I might just have to hold on because things still need to get painted in here, but you know, it's interesting. I like it, but it's still different. But I know once I get a little bit more comfortable, it's gonna be great. My cousin loves it though. My cousin keeps just going outside and he loves the view. So, which ain't a bad view. Look at this view. Oh, that's my view. It's awesome. And it's actually nice and sunny right now, so it's awesome. Pizza break. Nope. Just grab. Yum, yum. All right, so the setup right now, I'm not doing absolutely nothing, just because I know that's probably what it's gonna look like. Just trying to get a bunch of stuff done. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's starting to look more like a room now, right? I think that's what was giving me anxiety before. I was like, it doesn't feel like a room. That's really nice. At least when the rain comes down, it's pretty. It sounds nice. At least it's got that nature sound that I miss. Right? <laughs> I can't believe I cried about Daisy last night. No, I understand now. Sometimes it just hits you. When we sold my grandparents' house after my grandma died, like all my cats were buried in the yard. Oh my god. That's so really hard. hard. That's really sad. Like, I understand. That's a very much your life. I don't know. I just become part of you when... Well, this one's facing this way, so I feel like we should have it face this way. This way? No, no. I'm gonna try to edit that in there. Unless it's this way. Come on, fucker. There we go. Ish? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. And then wait, this we just gotta screw it all into place. I'll tighten the cans. <laughs> With the assistance of another person. Bitch, I'm not the instructions. Yeah, because it is flopping actually. Ah, oh, that barbecue smells so good. Right? I can see it from where you are. It's strong, it's nice. Oh my god, look at it. I think we can like put it up soon. I feel like this is the bottom. No, that's the top. One of them's gotta be the top. So it is nine o'clock at night and my bed finally just got put together. I'm finally here alone by myself and it feels really weird. But with that being said, good, good, weird. My mom feels weird. I think I, I was talking to a friend and I was like, you know what? It's like a little just, it's just a little bit like finding your groove in a new space. So I'm really gonna throw myself into getting as much of the like stuff out and on my bed as possible so that I can feel more at home or as at home as possible. Okay, you guys, I'm all settled in my new space and I'm wiped. I started at like, I wanna say 10.30 a.m. and it's almost midnight now and I just stopped like 30 minutes ago. I'm so exhausted. I would show you guys more, but I still have so many boxes to go through, so many things to like put up and all that stuff. And so I'm just like overwhelmed. I wanna try and get like, like stuff on the walls and all that. Cause it's like a little bit bare. It doesn't feel like home home just yet. And I'm just having a little bit of a hard time with that. And 
I know that as like the days progress it'll get better and I'm here like alone right now I feel like if I had like the living room set up the way I wanted it to be and like I could just like sit in like my living room and just like watch something that would be like amazing um but like it's not the case and for those of you who saw like my empty apartment tour and you were just like I don't understand like why your roommate is living in the living room and I just like want to clarify that I was looking for I was looking for a place and she had put this place up because she needed um a roommate and so I came into it being like okay sorry she was just texting me I was like okay like I'm I love this space but it doesn't have two bedrooms like what's going on She's like, well, I currently am living in like a li our living room and I want you to come, I want to find somebody for the same situation. And she was happy to take the living room because I'm also paying more getting the bedroom, which is like fine. I totally get it. So just so you guys know, like we're not like, it's not like I like rented it and just like had her like rent the living room. Like she brought me into the situation and that's the whole that's like the whole situation and i'm like really thankful for her for having like picked me and like stuff like that i know once i get used to like the sounds out here which like this is nowhere near as bad as it was when i had first moved out i'll feel better because it's like you know pretty quiet it's like decently quiet so um, I'm gonna go to sleep though, or at least try to like lay down. My hips are killing me. My entire body's just killing me. And like, all I can think of is like, tomorrow is another day. So I'll see you guys in the morning. And thank you for taking along with Vlogmas. And hopefully this video gets up not too late because we don't have internet yet. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Hopefully our internet is set up tomorrow. If not, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to figure it out, so <laughs> good night, guys. Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to the third day of Vlogmas. This is my first day officially here alone in the apartment, and a little bit of an update. I'm feeling a little bit better, still a little bit displaced, and obviously, like, I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to, like, have my own space and all that, but as I've been talking to, with, like, a few friends, like, the thing that sucks about moving, and I feel like maybe I want to, like, make this into a video, is it does take some time for for things to feel like home. And so that's kind of what I'm going through. I still have a lot of boxes uh, to go through and stuff and that kind of sucks. So um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna deal with a lot of this today. Like there's still a lot, unfortunately. So I'm gonna try to take out a bunch of the, the trash, but this is like my little like computer setup area as well. It looks really, really cute. Um, I'm listening to royalty free music because I have nothing else on my computer and we don't have internet right now. And then I think whenever I find my towels, I'm gonna take a long hot bath. That's like really what I need today. So yeah, that's what's happening today. And uh, hopefully, hopefully by the end of the week, I'm sure I'll be feeling a lot more settled. But right now it's like, it's still very oh boy, this doesn't feel like, like my home yet. So it'll feel like home soon. Okay, so I'm finally taking a rest. I've been attacking boxes as much as possible. Putting out stuff feels so good. It feels a lot more homely. It snowed for like two seconds very lightly. And I feel like the reason why I keep attacking boxes and trying to get stuff sorted is because I'm trying to find my towels. And I have no fucking clue where they are. Like, there are a few boxes that I haven't even like looked in and I'm betting they're in there. But I just feel like... I don't want to like 
tear something apart to find it because then it's going to be everywhere. So the second I find my boxes is the second I can shower and feel better and get maybe some fresh clothes on and go downstairs and put the boxes out and possibly go I want to go get magnets at the dollar store so in one of my boxes I know I have a bunch of like pictures and I want to put pictures on the fridge and I want to start putting like pictures up on the walls like you know just like things of like home friends family like I have like a photo book of like me and Gil and I have some pictures like over here of like um you can't really see it like my cat Daisy and then I need to get some like AAA batteries for this guy um and it's gonna look really cute so I'm just I, I think I definitely want to make a video about this feeling that I'm having because I think obviously I want to like say I obviously love my space I obviously love that I'm like in my own space but I came from the suburbs straight into the city and I was talking to a friend and I was like did you feel weird when you moved from like Mississauga which is like the suburbs to Toronto like did you feel weird and she's like yeah I did because all of your typical comforts are gone like you don't have the quietness of outside noises are different sound like you know smells are different you know the sounds of like your roommate are different versus like your parents and like that's kind of what I'm like dealing with because it's like for me I guess I associate all those things with like home so it's like really interesting and I haven't like had like it was I felt totally fine when like I had my like family here and like the first that I was in here like I felt really good like I was like we're painting we're getting things together and all that stuff and then the second day when I was like okay I'm staying and everyone's leaving like that's when I had like a little bit of like a panic attack not a panic attack I just felt like a little sad because I was like oh man like now I'm like you know now I've got to do it all on my own and so no, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I'm also really exhausted and I can't stop until at least all the stuff that I like need to be able to access is like accessible. I got my makeup out and all that stuff too. So, and we don't have Wi-Fi yet, which really sucks. And we probably won't until tomorrow, which really fucking sucks. So I'm going to have to go to the coffee shop tomorrow at the very least to get my work up. So yeah, I'm going to just again tackle more boxes to see if I can find my towels and shower <laughs> so I'll check in later I have decided to do something for myself and that is I'm gonna run a bath and eat a slice of pizza because I haven't had anything to eat all day <laughs> okay so I'm checking in we should put it on some Christmas music Okay, I'm checking in because we are starting to set up the living room area, which is feeling so much better. And we can't put that together, so we're gonna put together the Christmas tree instead. Even though there's still boxes, but you know what? I need a Christmas tree right now. I need that very badly. <laughs> yeah. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Just come in the visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good time
Santa's gonna come and join us in this song 